There are several reasons a cardiac wall might be thickened. Knowing the difference between these can save someone's life and even their family members. Here are the most common causes of a thick ventricular wall. The heart wall may increase in thickness as an adaptation to repetitive vigorous exercise and does not represent a pathologic change. Vascular abnormalities associated with hypertension, such as coarctation of the aorta and renal artery stenosis, may also cause the heart wall to increase in thickness. Abnormalities of cardiac valves, like aortic stenosis and subaortic rings, which can result in left ventricular outflow obstruction, can also cause a thick left ventricular wall. Infiltration of the heart muscle from conditions like amyloidosis or storage problems where the heart muscle cannot break down waste products from conditions like Fabry's disease, Denon disease, and Pompe disease can also cause thickening in the cardiac wall. Finally, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a thickening or hypertrophy of the heart muscle anywhere on the heart, not caused by a problem of the vasculature, heart valve, infiltrative, or storage problem. It's important to know the particular features of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM. These include the degree and location of ventricular hypertrophy. In the case of HCM, it's most commonly in the ventricular septum. You might also see bending or systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. Septal thickening and SAM can result in a dynamic obstruction at the left ventricular outflow tract, which can range from mild to severe. Note, the absence of SAM or dynamic left ventricular outflow obstruction does not exclude the diagnosis of HCM. Most importantly, the left ventricular function is normal or hypernormal non-dilated ventricle in most HCM hearts. For more information, visit ASECHO.org slash HCM.